great to see you again. My name is Ming Chiao. My name is Zhao He. I'm Guan Yang. We are from Guangdongian Primary School, Guoguan District, Haifang, the Flamboyant City. Welcome back to the Reach Out to the World contest. Oh, can you see the very colorful bus in my hand now? Yes. Yes, yes right. Then I have a question for you. Can you guess what that's called? Okay, I'll give you a hint. It's the most popular mean of public transportation in the Philippines. They're known for their flamboyant decoration and crowded seating. Oh, I know, I know. It's called the Chimney, right? An iconic public utility vehicle and a symbol of the Philippines culture. just mentioned to the Philippines, right? I guess that not all of us have heard so much information about this country, especially about its festivals. So are you ready to join me in exploring one of the many famous festivals of the Philippines today? Yes! So let's get started! Oh look guys, here it is! The Philippines is a tropical archipelago country, one of southeastern Asia country on the east of Vietnam, which has more than 7,000 islands. Wow, so many islands! And it was named in honor of King Philip II of Spain. And especially, the Philippines is known as the English-speaking country. So you could practice your English really with people there. Yeah! Oh, here's Debbie Island, where the colorful, vibrant, and very famous festival that I will introduce you all right now. But which festival are you mentioned to? Oh, it's the Sinla Festival. So good news. For 40 years, the Sinaloa Festival or Santo Nino, Child Jesus Festival, held on the third Sunday of January every year. In Cebu City, it's a massive festival celebrating the origin of the Cebu Island. You can see the Sinaloa Festival is going on here. <laughs> That's right, the magnificence of the festival made Filipinos as well as Asian people refer to it as the mother of all festivals. It also attracts many people coming from different parts to be here to witness the celebration. Wow, the Sinaloa Festival never ceases to amaze its audience. Sinaloa comes from the Cebuano word Sula, which means like water current movement of the river in Cebu, which depicts the forward and backward step of the Sinaloa dance to the sound of the drums. The natural and the canal land. The natural step is popularly known as two steps forward, one step backward, while the canal land has one step right foot forward and one step backward, while the left foot stays in place. Wow, the dance made me so excited! Me too! Coming to Cebu at the time of the Sinaloa Festival, people will be in bustling atmosphere for within nine days. The biggest event of this festival is the parade combined with traditional dance. Participants parade in colorful and well-made costumes, hugging the Holy Child Jesus statue and dancing sing like in the jubilant trumpet, native gongs and drumming. On Sunday night, you will be treated by the beautiful displays of the fireworks. 
Besides the religious part of the celebration, Sinulag is also well known for its street parties everywhere before and during the day of the celebration. There are also other activities for you as watch live bands with the beautiful sing voices of the Sopranos, face painting. Oh, I love it! Me too! You also can enjoy the Filipino cushion, join the Fluville Parade and Solemn Procession, watch Cat Block Festival, and explore the city. But how can we get there? Oh, by the colorful genie, of course. Great! I will bring my trumpet along and blow it. Oh, by the way, if you guys were attracted by the beautiful Philippines and want to enjoy at the Sinula Festival, here are some practical tips that I'm so pleased to share with you. Bring water or a refillable bottle with you to keep yourself hydrated. Second, sunscreen is essential. You will be under the sun for a long time, so please take care of your skin. Third, and be remembered that the primary mode of transport is the jeepney, which has specific routes that can take around the city. Now, you have known all about Sinaloa Festival in the Philippines. There are so many interesting things about this beautiful country that we don't have enough time to introduce to you right now. Filipinos usually say, Mabuhay, which means welcome to life, with great, or hello, when they meet someone for the first time. Can you join me saying Mabuhay? Mabuhay! Otherwise, there's one word called Balam, which means goodbye. Oh, it's time to say goodbye now. Balam! Thanks for watching! See you later!